Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Sunshine Coast is one of those unique places in Australia where the, the values of the past and the opportunities of the future coexist. And within the Sunshine Coast, uh, where better reflects that uniqueness than the town of Nambour? Nambour, Mr Speaker, has a heart and has a soul, and it's due to its people. It's people that possess truly a sense of pride which is second to none. Now, Nambour has had its, its challenges, Mr Speaker. Certainly, the 2003 closure of the Morton Sugar Mill looms large as one of those challenges. But in more recent years, the downsizing of the council operations, the downsizing of the hospital, uh, you've seen large retail outlets move from Nambour to the coastal strip and businesses, some of them closed down. It's had its challenges. And amidst all of this, a few years ago, I spent considerable time doing what we parliamentarians should be doing and you know, knocking on the doors and walking the beat around the town, hosting stalls and trying to understand what could be done. And you know, there were two key insights for me, Mr Speaker, that came out. Number one, the people of Nambour, as much as they are part of a broader growing Sunshine Coast region. They want to maintain their own distinct identity. They're proudly from Nambour, and they want to have that maintained. The second insight was that the people of Nambour recognised a need to transition their economy. They recognised the need to move in a different direction. Now, this was not going to be done organically, Mr Speaker. Indeed, it needed, first and foremost, a plan of attack. The people of Nambour were the first to say that what they really needed was a map for Nambour's future. How would it build that new future, maintaining their identity but transitioning the economy? And this led to the establishment of a project called Reimagine Nambour. Reimagine Nambour, a project that I instigated probably 18 months ago now, at least in its initial stages, together with uh, the local councillor, Greg Rogerson, and also the state member, Marty Hunt. The three tiers of government had to be in lockstep together. But more importantly, Mr Speaker, the community leaders from, from business, from civil society, um, from different walks of life. We established a committee of 12 people, a steering committee, that oversaw a process that involved a high degree of analysis. Uh, we engaged external consultants through a project funded um, by the federal government and also the Sunshine Coast Regional Council. Um, an enormous amount of quantitative and qualitative analysis, uh, pop-ups across the town, um, uh, forums, um, strategy days, and ultimately this culminated in a reimagined Nambour strategy, which was released only last month. Now that strategy really takes um, the idea of a 10 to 15 year plan across the, the, the themes of renewal, growth and transformation. For Nambour, it is renewal, it's growth and it's transformation. And under each of those buckets of themes exist a lot of work to be done and different work streams. Now that the work has been identified, it's been scheduled across an implementation plan, we have identified the task forces that will take those actions forward to deliver on renewal, growth and transformation. And right now, Mr Speaker, we have people signing up across Nambour as a sign of unity to get behind the reimagined Nambour plan. And my call out to the people of Nambour is to join the cause, 
and go to reimagineambor.com.au and sign up.